just wanted to make a quick video um, reminding you to be chill. I know that um, life can get a bit stressful. Um, it's okay. It happens to everybody. But you know, you should just know that whatever it is that's happening to you right now, whatever you're going through, um, you just need to know that it will pass. Like I know that sounds um, extremely <laughs> far-fetched or it could sound a bit, you know, too simple, but you just need to realize that the reality of life is change. Life consistently changes. Um, you know, sometimes it changes in a way where you believe it's a better change, it's a change for the best, or sometimes it changes in a way that you might currently look at it as a bad change but what you can take comfort in is knowing that as long as you're alive there's going to be change um and anybody who's lived more than like 18 years knows that pretty good pretty well by now that no matter what's your situation it's, it's going to change if it's a good situation it's going to change and you want to do whatever you can to make sure that it will change for the better, um, at least in the long run. Um, but besides that, you don't really have any power to do anything. So for me, during the really tough times in my life, one of the mindsets that really helped me kind of go through it is I would always tell myself, you know, I, I, I would always explore these kinds of truths of the moment, like things that you know you know kind of underlying realities of life and one reality that i discovered one truth that i discovered was you never know what's going to happen in the next day and then i said okay I, you know you never know what's going to happen tomorrow you know tomorrow you know the most attractive girl in the world could you know by chance start talking to you or you start talking to her and you're gonna find your life partner so tomorrow you might find the person you're gonna spend your rest of your life with or tomorrow you might get that insight that epiphany that changes everything tomorrow somebody you love could die you know bad shit could happen too and I'm just saying this, you know, just be optimistic with no reason. But then I took that philosophy of, okay, tomorrow everything could happen. And then I said, wait a minute, in the next hour, <laughs> anything could happen. You know, it's maybe it's less likely if it's the middle of the night, but, you know, stranger things have happened. So... Then I took it even further. Then I said, wait a minute. Anything could happen in the next hour, in the next uh, minute. And what I've realized through that thought experiment, again, it's not theoretical, it's, it's logical. It's something that you, know, you could spot for yourself. What I realized is that you never know what the next moment holds. And once you realize that you never know what the next moment holds, you kind of chill. <laughs> you know, you kind of calm down a bit. You kind of realize that, yeah, I could, you know, affect it. Sorry, I think there's a spider on me. Never mind. <laughs> so, see, never, you never know what happens. So, uh, you know, you might try to affect the next moment you might try to affect the rest of your life but all in all you know beyond um obviously this philosophy is really good when you're in a bad situation when you're in a good situation you know you tend to want things to stay the same so you don't you won't like what i'm saying if i'm in a if you're in a good situation right now you know because you'll be like hey what you know <laughs> what do you mean Everything could be bad all of a sudden. But again, you never know. 
like I said, somebody you love might just pass away <laughs> any minute now, <laughs> any second. You know, tell, t I hope you tell the people you love that you love them. Um, but, you know, when shit is bad, <laughs> you just want to make, you want to get done with it. You know, you want to be over with it. You know, I want the next thing. You know, I don't like this. Bring me the next thing after that, that hopefully it's better. So what that point of view does is, again, it makes you relax a bit because you realize that any minute now, anything could change. And when you get into that frequency, when you start kind of looking at the world through that lens, that actually makes the odds of that happening a lot bigger because um, this is kind of a law of attraction thing but it's also pretty logical beyond that whatever you expect tends to happen um, let's say you're walking in the street and you're afraid of getting mugged so you're gonna try defending yourself against that prematurely so you're gonna start walking like you know all tight and shit so people are going to see that and they're going to know that you're afraid of getting mugged. So what's the first thing that's going to go in the hood? It's like, oh, he's afraid he's going to get mugged. Oh, the word mugged. So somebody who's a mugger, <laughs> that's, you know, the first person he notices. So it's counterintuitive. Uh, it's actually, it's, it's counter to the goal. So when you sort of create the, get the lens of, okay, anything could happen at any moment, like the next moment could hold something completely different than I've ever experienced. The next moment could be the best moment of my life. Again, I realize that deeply. The next moment could be the best moment of my entire life, or the next moment could lead up to the best moment of my life. At the same time, the next moment could lead up to the worst moment of your life so you know obviously don't wait for that but be aware so when it's good enjoy it but you know don't attach to it because it's susceptible to change and when it's bad you know there's hope because <laughs> change happens so when you start looking at the world through that very open-minded way like okay What's the next thing that could happen? Eckhart Tolle, he's a spiritual teacher. He says in his book, The Power of Now, he says that you want to be like a, like a cat that's waiting for his master to come home, you know, or like a dog. Like, you're like, okay, any minute, any minute, you know, and how your dog waits for you by the door. He just waits for that moment. He hears the, you know, the door handle and he knows you're home. So... You want to sort of be like that. You want to be very present to the moment. Enjoy everything that happens because you realize it's going to change very fast. And be open to the change. Now, once you're open to that change, the odds of things changing is very high because you're preparing yourself for it actively. <laughs> so that's my message for today. Again, if, if things are not going the way you want them to go just chill you know do what you can and beyond that just chill because it's going to change and if things are not go are good then you know enjoy it because it's not going to last bye bye